Hey everyone, Ava Flanell here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Smith & Wesson EZ30 Super Carry. In the past, I've done the EZ380 as well as the 9, but today it's going to be all about the 30 Super Carry, which if you haven't heard, is a new round that Federal came out with. I was on the fence about it at first when I first heard. Um, they actually, it was leaked, so it came out before they were even able to let the ambassadors know. So just before we start with the video, um, I would like to say that I am sponsored by Smith & Wesson as well as Federal. So when the 30 Super Carry Round leaked, Federal didn't even have a chance to let the ambassadors know like what they were launching. So I was in the dark, um, just like everybody else. And when I heard about it, I was like, well, okay, why do we need a new round? Then at Smith & Wesson's range day, right before SHOT Show, I had the opportunity to shoot it. And I was like, okay, I'm sold. Like, rest in peace, 380. It was nice knowing you, but 30 Super Carry is going to be basically switching places with 380, if not 9mm. And I feel pretty confident saying that. Um, I just wish that everybody was able to shoot it because I think once you shoot it, you're definitely gonna change your mind about it. But going back to the gun. So if you guys have any experience with the Easy Shield, you know that, let's see, which one is it? I have both here, the 380, or I'm sorry, the 30 Super Carry as well as the nine millimeter. So this one is the 30 Super Carry. This one here is the nine millimeter, exact same footprint, everything is identical to it. So if you have any experience with the nine millimeter or the 380, it's exactly the same. So really easy to rack. Magazine that has those little tabs on the side, so really easy to load. I actually wish that most magazines were made like this because I could load this thing very quickly, not have to worry about my nails, which, you know, if you don't have nails, you don't have to worry about it. I like having nice nails. Um, if you guys want to know my secret, it's all about the gel nail polish so that it doesn't chip. I'm all about that. Uh, so any of the ladies that are watching or men, who knows? I don't know. It's 2022. Um, anyway, so it has the little tabs on the side that help when you're loading it. And then the same easy to rack slide which I personally think the 380 is still a little bit easier than the 9 or the 30 Super Carry, but still easy. Um, has that grip safety again, so you kind of have to, you know, just make sure you give it a nice grip. Same sights. Let me actually just verify that, that they are the same sights. Yeah, literally exactly the same. The only thing that has changed is now it is chambered in 30 Super Carry. As a result, we can now look at these magazines. So this is a 30 Super Carry. This is the nine millimeter. So exact same footprint. The only thing is, is now this one holds two extra rounds, the 30 Super Carry. Depending on what gun you guys are gonna be using, and I know that there's more manufacturers that are gonna be jumping on board, making future guns or guns that they've already released, chambered in 30 Super Carry. So for example, and I'm not saying that Springfield's going to come out with a Hellcat chambered in 30 Super Carry, but looking at the magazine, it is actually going to add five more rounds as opposed to two. So it's kind of like roughly 20%. So let's talk about uh, just shooting it. Recoil is kind of the same, but what I noticed about it, because the 30 Super Carry is such like a much more faster round, it shot out faster and I was able to get on target quicker. This is my target shooting 30 Super Carry. It looks like smaller holes, although expansion is pretty close to nine millimeter. Um, and you actually get, it penetrates I think an inch deeper, but very close, it's just slightly off from nine millimeter, even though the holes look a little bit uh, smaller compared to the nine millimeter target. But you can see that I was able to shoot pretty quickly within a four inch group spread out pretty well. Then when I move over to the nine millimeter target, still a good grouping, although I don't know what the hell happened to these two target, or those two rounds. on the 30 Super Carry, I was definitely able to line up my sights and really think about like where I was shooting. And if anything, I think 
I was able to do it a little bit quicker. Another thing that I'm sure a lot of people are wondering is the size. So um, again, sponsored by Federal, very lucky to have an AMO sponsor, like extremely fortunate, especially one of the best in my opinion. So I have um, the Syntec coated nine millimeter here, just so that you guys don't get confused, which is which. So this one's the nine millimeter. This is the 30 super carry. So you can see that it's quite a bit of a difference. Um, a much smaller diameter and I'm going to put up a chart on my screen so that you guys can see the difference between 9 millimeter and 9 millimeter uh, self-defense plus P and then the 30 super carry so you can get kind of an idea for that. For those who are saying that it's not the same power as a 9 millimeter power, um, it is 20 foot pounds less than 9 millimeter and as far as penetration goes, it's actually an inch more and as far as expansion, it is 0.04 less than nine millimeter. And then going back to the 30 Super Carry Easy, if you guys are wondering what MSRP is, I believe it's 521. So it's the exact same as all of the other Easy's that you've seen before. Um, I don't think that they have a performance model available yet, but I would imagine that that's gonna be in the works coming out soon. But I'm really excited about this because if you guys look back at my last video, my biggest complaint about the easy i loved everything about it except the mag capacity for the size i'm like why doesn't it hold more rounds so now it does and i'm really excited to see more manufacturers jump on board and come out with guns that have more mag capacity i feel pretty confident saying that i think 380 is pretty much dead with 30 super carry coming out and if nothing else is going to be a pretty close contender with nine millimeter the only thing that has nine millimeter beat at this point is the price i mean you know nine millimeter is made in such bulk that i don't think that there's going to be 30 super carry made as much uh for it to be the price that nine millimeter is even though right now it's expensive but i mean it's going to come down as far as price goes it is comparable to 380 which is which is why I say, you know, 30 Super Carry is probably going to replace 380 because if it's comparable in price, you're able to get on target quicker and you're able to get 20% more mag capacity, why would you even mess around with 380 anymore? So if you guys would like to check out the new Easy Chambered and 30 Super Carry, head on over to smith-wesson.com. And if you want to check out the new ammo, head on over to federalpremium.com. As always, really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it.